And we begin with breaking news three months to the day after the shooting at Robb Elementary where 19 children and two teachers were gunned down. The Uvalde School Board is meeting right now to decide the fate of its embattled district police chief. Yeah, this is a live look at that meeting. Uh, we have the sound turned down because just out of an abundance of caution, we don't know what people might say. Uh, but we are monitoring what's going on. Chief Pete Arandondo has been heavily criticized over his response to the mass shooting and how long it took officers to engage the shooter. Arandondo will not attend the hearing, citing safety concerns. He says his life has been threatened. Less than an hour ago, Arandondo's attorney released a 17-page statement criticizing what the school board is doing right now, saying it violates his right to due process and lays out a defense of his actions. Arandondo Redondo claims he did not know there were any children or teachers in the room with the shooter. The statement also says, quote, if leading from the front after being shot at, calling for support, keys, extraction tools, SWAT, a sniper, and taking action to save teachers and students located in the surrounding classrooms shows lack of leadership, then who knows what leadership is supposed to look like. And, quote, Retribution will not bring anyone back. It is a hollow reward and it will only spread more hurt and pain in an unjust and biased manner. Well, over 300 law enforcement officers were on scene, but the shooter was allowed to stay in two adjoined classrooms with the children as distraught students frantically called 911. An hour and 14 minutes went by before officers moved in and shot him. That delay contradicts active shooter protocols, which call for police to immediately engage the threat.